Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a very cool looking add-on to show you guys. Now, if you go on the map here, you can see there's these X's, right? And these are uh, underwater landmarks. Well, sorry, they're not always underwater. They can also be like mountains and such. Oh wait, no, the mountains have a different icon. Never mind. Anyways, you might notice some special little X's here, especially at the ends of rivers like these. If you zoom in, you can read the text. It's called the North Surge Barrier. Then we've got the South Surge Barrier. We have the Southwest Roller Gate. We have a West Surge Barrier and a lot more. And these are massive gates that stop big waves from flooding villages. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out these surge barriers and also seeing what might happen if, say, a ship collided with one of them. Okay, so this ship is a bounty hunter ship, as it says on the workshop and it has a lot of furniture like it has whatever this is i'm not quite sure it's it must be some sort of desk but up here we have our cockpit now the windows are actually you can't really see much out of the windows i'm gonna be honest but most of the time i'm just gonna be using third person so it doesn't make that much of a difference so we can turn on power and uh turn on our master arm actually no let's turn that off because that just enables the minigun to move around yeah that's right this thing has a minigun okay Okay, here we go. Let's go up and then we can raise our landing gear. Okay, so this craft is very easy to fly. It's very stable and it feels like I am definitely not gonna lose control of this. Hopefully, I mean. Okay, so we are over here. So the first place I want to go to is the North Surge Barrier. And let me tell you, it is a very big creation. Okay, so let's put in our autopilot and then activate the autopilot. Okay, I can hear jet engines turning on. Oh, yes, I'm right. There are four jet engines on this thing. I've got to say, the design of this thing is very cool looking. It looks really great while it's flying. I especially like how the heaters are used as like engines. Oh, we need to turn off our autopilot. We're gonna go straight into that mountain over there. I wonder if there's a way to activate the jet engines without having to go into autopilot. I don't think there's a way. No, no matter how much I'm holding W, even though I'm getting faster and faster, the jet engines aren't gonna turn on. All right, over there, as you can see, those are the surge barriers. These are not in the actual game normally. You have to download the mod, which is, by the way, in the description. If you wanted to check this out for yourself, I'm pretty sure they also automatically close once the wind gets to a certain speed. And also, there are not only just this version of the gate, there are also other versions of this kind of gate i'm pretty sure there's one where it rolls i don't remember any other versions though okay we are going to land there we go we can turn off power and we can check out this surge barrier okay so it looks like the only way on is to jump up onto this ledge which might be a little bit too tall to actually jump onto oh never mind you can also jump in the water and climb up this ladder i guess okay now that we're up here there doesn't seem to be a walkway but obviously that's a cat and we could go inside there so normally if the waves are like high enough it'll close automatically but we can also manually close it by overriding the weather settings so it looks like the current wind is 0.01 if we put the threshold to zero it's going to start closing the barrier okay that horn has been going on for a while now like 10 to 20 seconds and it still hasn't started closing actually oh okay this the horn stopped is it gonna close yet something is weird about this Oh, yes, it's actually closing now. I guess the horn was just a warning for any ships to like get out of the way immediately. That is very cool. Let's go no clip to get a better view at this. Okay, so this is the north surge barrier. Let's see how it performs against some wind. Let's make the wind direction correct. Okay, so basically in Stormworks, it doesn't actually calculate wi waves being stopped. So as you can see, these waves, like let, let, let's just follow this one wave it's gonna go there go through the barrier and out the other side because that kind of water physics is not calculated in stormax and i'm glad it isn't because well the game would be a lot more laggy but mostly these surge barriers are not functional they're just for the aesthetics let's open this gate back up as you can see i guess when it opens there's no horn because well you've mainly got to worry about the closing part if you're a ship okay let's get back in our spaceship and we can fly to the next destination which 
is the southeast surge barrier. Now it might just be the exact same as this one, but it also could have a completely different design. I'm not sure. I wish there's a way to do altitude hold because when you do autopilot in this thing, it seems like it's gonna crash into some mountains. Okay, I've activated autopilot and for some reason, the ship is going the opposite direction of what it should be doing. What is this? Okay, it's turning back around. That's better. I think the autopilot's a little bit confused. We're off center now. Maybe I'll just turn- Oh, no, that's the landing gear. Let's turn autopilot off. Let it relax a little bit. Let it stabilize. And my coordinates are perfect. They're completely on point. And let's activate the autopilot again. Nope, it just decided to spiral out of control for no reason. It just wants to fly away. Why is that? Okay, it looks like it knows what it's doing now. And we're flying the correct direction. Well, never mind. We're turning around again. What is this? What's wrong? My coordinates are perfect. I've like put it in 10 times now you know let's just fly this manually i think it still remembers the coordinates from this surge barrier and it's just flying around that waypoint instead of the correct one which is this one okay so this thing's autopilot isn't working and it's incredibly slow without its autopilot so so i'm just gonna show you the minigun and the missiles and we can just start teleporting you know okay so first of all we have our minigun which causes a lot of camera shaking i believe it's also camera controlled or is it i think it is i'm not sure yeah when i look look around as you can see the gun is moving although very slightly and that's the minigun right there as a secondary um weapon we also have these missiles i don't think they have any tracking at all and they just naturally want to curve upward for some reason look at this every single one goes directly up after like what half a kilometer i don't know okay well let's dump this into the lava why don't we okay i think i'm a little bit too far back oh never mind i am perfectly there yeah that's not how i'm pr i'm pretty sure that's not how lava works right like i don't think the lava should be acting like a brick wall you know i really expected it to like act like water and not just a flat surface oh and hey if you guys are enjoying this video right now uh a like or maybe even a subscribe would be greatly appreciated thank you anyways we can just check out these surge barriers by teleporting okay so this surge barrier is a lot wider because this river is massive so it's gonna be a much farther but it's not just like the other one while this gate mechanism is the exact same what is this maybe this is some sort of dam let's see if there's a interior to these buildings no it just doesn't look like there's an interior to these things even though they look like something you could go inside of i wonder if that dam over there can be controlled in this cabin nope we've just got this override weather settings thing i think these gates are so static i don't see any rails that would let them move yeah they're completely static okay okay then on to the next gate and that gate is the south surge barrier which i'm guessing is the same probably yep it is exactly the same i, I don't think you guys need to see the same uh, barrier three times in a row so we're gonna go to the next one which is a roller gate which i'm pretty sure is completely different as the name suggests it probably rolls something along yes or am I wrong? Is this the gate? I don't see anything. Okay. Well, once we activate this, we'll probably see what it's talking about. So there goes the horn for probably like half a minute. And something or other should start like rolling along. Let's see what happens. Uh, nothing's... Oh, never mind. I am wrong. Something definitely happened. Look at this. Okay. I don't see what about this is rolling. Maybe like this surface rolls up. And obviously this won't stop any waves because stormworks doesn't work like that but it's cool to see a different form of gate that's a lot smaller okay now we have the west surge barrier all right it's again this design that hinges well then we've seen every single barrier i wish there'd be more roller barriers and not just like most of them being this one but i guess the roller barrier would be far too small to encompass the whole lake sorry river okay now i'm gonna keep my promise and we're gonna see what happens if something like a ship drives in to this okay so over here we have a military patrol boat but we don't have to check out much of this craft this video is after all mostly about the surge barriers okay i've turned on the engine and we're gonna go slowly slow enough that we can get caught between the two sides of the gate all right so we're gonna increase the wind okay i can hear the horn that means the gate should be closing and the probably the hardest part is getting us right there between the gates just 
fast as they close. Especially with this wind trying to drive us off course. It's kind of annoying. Okay, vehicle damage is on. Oh, I don't. Oh, no, I just hit myself on the side there. But we didn't. Oh, never mind. We got really bad. How did I get so badly damaged on that? That doesn't make any sense. And I've turned off the clutch, but oh, I tried to go in reverse, but it's not letting me. But I have gotten the back stuck between these two sides of the gate. The game doesn't seem too bothered by it, though. Somehow it got like really ba badly damaged over there just by hitting the tiny corner of this side of the gate. But right now, all the gate's done right now is just blown up this boat over here. I don't think it's done any other damage than that. Never mind, there's fire inside of the ship now. Uh-oh. That's not good, is it? Maybe the engine overheated. Or maybe the fire from the tiny boat spread to us. I don't know. Let's see if we can go below deck to check. Oh, yep. The engines are definitely on fire. I can say that for sure. I cannot see anything either. Let's go back up here and heal up. Even though I had the firefighter outfit, that fire is so hot that I still nearly died. Okay. Well then, we've probably concluded that getting your ship stuck between some surge barriers is a generally bad idea. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!